Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is a bridesmaid makeup look. I have so many comments that have been left on my channel that have said, hey, I'm going to be a bridesmaid, what kind of makeup should I do? So I decided to create this look. I feel like it's really wedding-y and it works with so many dress colors. Um, I'm wearing a blush dress and I feel like that is so popular for wedding season so I feel like this makeup look goes well with blush dresses if you are wearing a blush dress and it also isn't too overpowering for the bride so you still look nice and defined and fresh but it won't draw too much attention away from the bride herself. So this is what I came up with. You could also wear this if you are a wedding guest and you could switch up the lip color a little bit, make it a little bit more bold or a little bit different, or you could keep it the exact same. So before we get into this makeup tutorial, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, just hit the little bell so you're notified each time I upload. And I'm uploading three times a week, which is really fun. Um, I'm really excited about this second video in my bridal series. I feel like this bridal series will kind of carry on throughout my channel. It's not just going to be this week. I will do multiple bridal and bridesmaids looks throughout my beauty channel career. With that being said, if you guys want to see how I got this bridesmaid inspired makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first we're going to prime the face. You want to keep in mind your own skin type as well as the weather. For example, if you are normal to combination skin and it is a winter wedding, you may want to hydrate a lot more than normal just so that your skin doesn't feel super tight and dry. For right now, it is summertime and so for me personally, I do get dry on the outer areas of my face but I can get oily in the T-zone so that's what I'm going to address today. So I'm going to go in with my Embryolisse Cream Primer slash Moisturizer. This is amazing stuff. It's one of my favorite products that I own and I'm going to start with that on the outer parts of the face. For my T-zone, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is a silicone-based primer, so it's really going to help fill in pores and maintain the T-zone. We'll just kind of help mattify this. So while the primer is sinking into the skin, I'm going to move on to eyes. I'm just going to be priming it with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is a great way to create a base for your shadows. If you don't have like an eyeshadow primer, Shape Tape especially is really, really great. I just put that on my eyelids and then I blend it out with a concealer brush. Then I pat it down with my finger as well. I'm bringing the concealer further into the inner corners just to help conceal that because sometimes when you do your eyes first, that area, if you forget about it, can be really hard to cover up later. So I'm just pulling it in. So I'm just taking that same brush and I'm setting the eyelids with the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. Any powder will work. And now we have a really good base for shadows. So while I was thinking about what eyeshadow palette would be good for a bridesmaid look, I kept going back to this one. This is the Sigma Warm Neutrals Palette and I just feel like it's so good for any occasion. I mean you could even use this for a bridal look if you wanted to, but I felt like it was really versatile. It will look good on so many different skin tones. So this is what I chose to use or what I'm choosing to use today. Starting off with this shade right here called Sugar Milk. I'm going to just go ahead and put that all over the lid up to the brow bone. Hopping into this shade right here called Innocent. This is going to be our crease slash transition shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and start to sweep that through the crease. This is such a pretty like blush color. I wanted to do something a little bit more pinky. You may want to keep the bride's color scheme in mind on whatever dress you're wearing. If this absolutely won't match, then you can figure out some other colors, but I feel like it's neutral enough to where it would work with any color dress. I'm going to go into this shade right here called Cozy. We're just going to add a little bit of brown into the crease as well as on the like outer third of the eye. So if you're a bridesmaid, you're obviously not the star of the show, but you will be photographed a lot. So it's really important that you try to look good for photos as well even though you don't want to steal the bride's spotlight so to speak. Um, you want to make sure that your makeup is defined enough for photography as well and you're not using anything with SPF or too high of an SPF in your foundation and things like that to avoid flashbacks. So keep that in mind even though you're not the bride you'll be photographed most likely and could potentially be photographed with flash so just keep that in mind. I'm then going to take this shade right here called Balance. This is a really pretty like satin pinky shade and we're just going to go ahead and start to brush this in the inner third of the eye and bring it in to about halfway. Most of the product should be towards the inner third and then I kind of like lightly feather out the rest on the other part of the eye. And my brows are not done yet so it probably looks kind of weird. Um, I've decided to just wait to do my brows for some reason just to switch it up a little bit. It's up to you though when you do them. If you like to do them beforehand, go for it. 
There's no rules. So to define the eyes a little bit and to make your lash line pop a little bit, I'm just going to use a dark brown eyeshadow. You can use a brown eyeliner if you want to, but since there's no matte dark brown shadow in that palette, I'm just going to go into my Tarte palette right here. And I'm going to take this shade. This is called Smoke, and we're just going to run that along the top lash line. So I'm kind of starting on the outer part of the lash line, working it into the lash line, and then buffing it up and out. It's really nice when you use shadow for liner because if you mess up, you just buff it out and it looks smoky and it looks like you did it on purpose. So this is a really easy way to define the eyes and it also doesn't look as harsh. You'll get a defined upper lash line, but it won't look like super harsh for photos. You could also use a black eyeshadow or a gray eyeshadow, anything that you want. I just like using eyeshadow because it's a little bit softer. So if you want to, this is optional, depends on you. I really have been inspired by this shade right here. It's a little bit more sparkly and it's called Fawn. I'm just going to take this on my finger lightly and just press it over the inner third of the eye. And that will just add a little something extra without being too overpowering or too overdone. But I really like how this shadow looks. It just adds a little sparkle. And I just think it makes the look a little bit more formal. So now I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm just going to use my Maybelline Big Shot mascara. I've been really loving this. If you're an emotional person, wear waterproof mascara. If it's a super hot day outside, wear waterproof mascara. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to because I don't like taking it off. <laughs> but it is a really good idea if you are a bridesmaid and maybe you'll cry or whatever. Okay, so now for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I mix the shades 120 and 112 to get my perfect shade. This is a really great drugstore option because I I feel like if you're gonna be a bridesmaid, a lot of times you're not gonna go out and buy special makeup. So this is a really great affordable option and it doesn't have um, SPF in it, I don't think. So there's no flashback. I've worn this foundation to events before and I've had no issues with it. So I would definitely recommend for a special occasion if you're looking for a good affordable foundation. I so wish those had pumps on them because I always feel like I waste product pouring it out on my hand. I'm just mixing it on my hand and I'm just going to apply that evenly over my face with a foundation brush and then of course blend it out with my Aesthetica beauty sponge. I'm just going to build the product where I want more coverage which is usually on my cheeks. Also not forgetting to blend down the neck and on the chest if you do have a certain neckline you want to make sure that you really are one color throughout so don't be afraid to like blend it down even on your neck wherever your neckline is. And you can also blend it back to your ears so that everything is the same color. So I'm going to do my brows. It's kind of driving me crazy that they're not done. <laughs> I'm going to take some of that Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder and I'm just going to take some on a little brush and just dust it through the brows. And this will ensure that your pencil sticks. I'm going to use pencil today. Just use your favorite brow product, whatever you count on. I also love the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. For today, I'm just feeling like doing a pencil, so I'm just going to lightly fill in my brows. So after I filled in my brows, I'm just going to set them with the Glossier Boy Brow, or any setting gel will work. Also, clear mascara works, or if you spray a spoolie with hairspray, that works as well. Now we're going to go in with some concealer. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape and just put a little bit under the eyes. We're gonna use this to kind of contour a little too, so I'm gonna go down the nose, chin, and I'm just going to blend that out with my sponge. I'm gonna pull out my little handy dandy mini sponge for the under eye area, and then I'm gonna take that same sponge and dip it into the lid with my Cover FX powder, and just use that to set the under eye concealer, as well as any other area we put concealer. Then I'm gonna take my large Sigma powder brush, dip that in the lid, and just set the surrounding areas. Let's finish up the eyes. I'm just going to go into the Sigma palette again, and I'm going to take the pink shade that we used right here and just buff that under the lower lash line. I'm then going to take this brown shade right next to it and do the same thing, but I'm going to focus this color a little bit closer to the lash line. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that sparkly shade right here and just lightly dust that on the inner third of the lower lash line, just so that the bottom lash line kind of mimics what we have going on on the top lid. And then I'm just going to pop some mascara on the bottom lashes. Now we're going to warm up the complexion with my trusty Physicians Formula butter bronzer. I'm just going to put that on the outer parts of the face to bronze and define. 
For blush, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. This is such a good blush for special events. I feel like it's a really pretty, like, bridal or bridesmaid blush. Just provides that perfect, like, luminous pink color. And like I said in my engagement tutorial, I'll probably repeat this several times through this series, but in photography, your makeup fades slightly, so it's important to add a little bit more than you think you'll need. Obviously, you want to still look good in real life and in person, especially for a special occasion and for your wedding day or whatever it is. But you want to make sure you're adding a little more blush than you normally do just for the pictures. So for highlighter, just go in with your favorite highlight. I'm going to go into this Kylie Cosmetics one. This is the highlighter in the shade French Vanilla. I love this highlighter so much. So this is what I personally would choose to wear just because I love how it looks on my skin. And I'm just going to put that on this zone right here in like a C shape. Down the center of the nose, on the cupid bow, a little on the chin, a little up here. And then I'm going to take some for the inner corner highlight as well. Pop that in the corner here and under the brow bone. So for lips, I'm going to line the lips with this rosy shade from Maybelline. This is called, this is a lip liner, I forget what it's called, in the shade 05 Rose. And I'm just going to line and fill the lips with this. For lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and use this one from Estee Lauder. This is the Pure Color Envy Lipstick in the shade Rose Tea. Look how pretty it is. I just love the shade of this lipstick, so I'm going to apply that directly on top. And then I'm going to set the whole face with the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Setting Spray. And I'm going to take my sponge and kind of dab all over the face to really help the makeup set. So that completes this look. I just changed into a blush dress so you can get the full idea, you know what I mean? Normally my hair would look nicer than this, but that's alright. Um, I hope you guys like this look. I feel like it's really soft, um, but still special occasion-y, but it won't overpower the bride, if you know what I mean. So if you prefer a softer makeup look for your wedding day, this may be a route that you want to go. But I also feel like it's perfect for bridesmaids. I'm really excited to show you guys my bridal look that will be up on Saturday, so keep your eyes peeled. For any of you guys who are bridesmaids, have so much fun. Hopefully this makeup tutorial is helpful. Send me pictures if you do recreate this look for your bridesmaid makeup. Once again, make sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye!